Are you ready for an open discussion with the best of the best and the best of what's next? Welcome to the Tony D'Urso Show. Join in on a great conversation today with some of the world's great influencers as they showcase great advice and techniques that made them the game changers they are today. Now, here's Tony D'Urso. Welcome. I'm your host, Tony D'Urso. I interview some of the top entrepreneurs in the world, and I thank you for joining us. I broadcast every Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific on Voice America's Influencers Channel. And you can listen to all of our shows on your Android or Apple device. Go to TonyDurso.com slash mobile and get the app. TonyDurso.com slash mobile. Before we get going, here's a big thank you to some amazing sponsors of our show. Please stay tuned for an important message from FreshBooks about great invoice and accounting software for your small business. And listen for an important message from BetterHelp about getting private assistance in areas such as depression, stress, anxiety, anger, conflicts, and more. More info on them just ahead, so please stay tuned. Today's show is with Dariush Shokov, $4 billion sculpture. Here's some info on Dariush. World-renowned, critically lauded artist and sculptor, Darius Shokov created the most valuable piece of artwork in the world, a sculpture worth $4 billion, literally. This amazing work of art consists of $4 billion in U.S. dollars balanced on the edge of four seesaws to be unveiled in front of the New York Stock Exchange in late 2019. A $4 billion art piece? Check this out. Welcome to the show, Dariush. I am so honored to interview such a prestigious artist, sculptor, and filmmaker. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. The honor again is mine, Dariush, and there's so much to talk about. I mean, you have some art sculptures worth $4 billion. That's insane. And I'm going to talk about that. But first things first, I'd love to know, we all want to know, how did it all start for you? What's your backstory? I was born in Tehran, Iran. I'm sorry, that makes me Iranian. Grew up in the States and then uh, started with uh, film and arts uh, about 35 years ago. Ended up in uh, Europe, basically, and mostly in Germany and Italy. And uh, ever since 35 years uh, ago, I've been uh, creating art. And uh, then again, back in the States, in New York City, introduced maximalism it was the uh, thoughts uh, specific certain thoughts uh, in in reference to the arts which i somehow found it and now enjoys uh, many great wonderful global artists who do create artworks on the maximalism so i am a maximalist and now i am at your service as an artist who did this uh, uh, this is this is sculpture called Art 4 Plus. It's and very interesting. I'm not very familiar with maximalism, and I'm going to have to look that up. Or actually, could you give us perhaps a simple sentence or so of what, what does that what mean? Is, well, what, what it is not is probably uh, more important so that people don't won't misunderstand. It has nothing against minimalism, and we all know what minimalism is. Maximalism is more figurative, it's more politically aware, uh, awake, it's, uh, it, it's, it has exotic touch to it, it, uh, it has lots of humor and boundless visions. So a maximalist uh, would not be a, uh, an abstractionist like uh, Jackson Pollock or a cubist like the great Picasso, would not just do this or just do that. Maximalist artist is more open to whatever comes to her or his mind and uh, creates the work of art. And uh, hopefully, at the end of the day, has also a, also a signature that stamps how, how that artwork could be recognized. That, and that's, that's how we get into art worth $4 billion, because it's just... It's just the sky's the <laughs> limit, right? Anything goes. <laughs> and we're not really... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that art four plus. It's uh, it's art four plus because it starts at four billion US dollars. Uh, realistically speaking, would you like to know about it? I would like to know more. I have some questions on that, but right sure. just right before, I would love to discuss and introduce the audience 
to perhaps some of your more well-known films and art projects just to kind of get a lay of the land here a little bit more? Okay, fine. Would you like for me to... Uh, I'm absolutely uh, perhaps the most famous director in the world who has whom no one has ever seen a film from. That, if that makes me feel no, no, I like no, that. That's excellent. No, no one has ever heard of it. <laughs> I've never had a film uh, that was uh, released in the theaters. Uh, I, I uh, started my uh, film career with uh, a first feature film. Uh, uh, I was blessed and honored to have the legend, legendary great Anthony Quinn playing uh, the leading uh, uh, role in his last in his last film as a leading uh, character. The film was Seven Servants. It was picked up by prestigious festivals worldwide, but he never, uh, unfortunately, never uh, got into the theaters because of lots of uh, issues involved. And then ever since, I've made about 17, 17, uh, yeah, 17 features and about maybe 30, 32 short films, and they usually landed uh, in festivals. And again, not theatrically released. Ever since this Art for Plus concept came in, I stopped doing uh, films for the last four years. And the next project that I would be uh, working on, that would be right from the start uh, made and uh for the for the uh, public release for audiences and it would go into the it would finally one of my films would come to the uh, to the theaters i hope and that is called that film is called god hatton god hatton is a word that i that i uh found it or i i uh, created it's you know we all know what manhattan is and we keep saying that this this word Manhattan is uh, uh, created, uh, or it's, it's com it comes from American Indians, which I think it is not. I think it is a combination of a, uh, some Yiddish words called man hat getan, which in German it means something that has been made by men. That's by very interesting. Man hat getan, yeah. It's and not. It's not from the Indians. No, no, it's, I think, I think, <laughs> I think, and God Hatton is something that has been made by God. And that oh. film is the film that we are going now to finally, after 30 years of filmmaking, bring to the theaters. And it's, it's a, it's, it's a big thing and we'll see how it works. Well, I look forward to having an interview on that when it's ready. And I look forward to that Thanks. coming out. Very cool. And also just for introducing on our projects, introducing that to our audience, I know you did one particular very well-known art project where you sat on a seesaw for a week. Could you, that's probably yeah. a bad description. Perhaps you could tell us the whole story on that. Actually, very, very important that you brought this up because uh, the, the, the Art 4 Plus is a, uh, is a result of, of that piece that you just talked about that was like about 30 years ago or so that was it was when we when the war with Iraq started when that war uh, began and I had an, an installation I had a balance uh, built out of wood huge tank and I was sitting on one side of this uh, uh, balance and on the other side there were uh Elements racked up, piled up on on one another. We started with, um, I think, industry, then money, then politics, and at the end, resulted in war. And uh, that little one person on the other side was heavier than all of that big, big, huge uh, powers on the other side. Uh, something very similar to what I, uh, what I, what I'm presenting now with Art for Plus. But that one was about a week in front of uh, one of the biggest churches in the whole world, which is in Cologne, Germany. And uh, yeah, I sat there for a whole week, and it was it was uh, uh, yeah, it was uh, really something. People would come and ask and all of that. Uh, but it did have uh, 
a message uh, that a one little person can be symbolically speaking heavier in weight and perhaps also in worth more than all of that gold and, and power and politics and industries and on the other side. That was the concept behind that part. I like yeah. that very good message there, and it shows that the value of one person is greater than exactly what these it was, institutions right. or, or whatnot. I like that. Well, that's great. That's a great segue into this art. And now, okay, wait a second. Let me get this understood, Darius. You have some art sculptures that are worth $4 billion right now. Am I getting this right? There are four sculptures. There are four seesaws. These four seesaws, each one of them is about nine, nine meters long, built from steel, weigh, each one weighs over two tons, 2,000 kilos. And that whole thing is one artwork. Those four seesaws are one artwork, one conceptual artwork, on the, the title Art 4 Plus, on one side of each one of these seesaws, there's a platform uh, two meters square, and on each one of those platforms, we got $1 billion cash in form of a pyramid. On the other side, there are small elements that no one knows what these four different elements are. These small elements that could be as, as big as, or one of them is maybe not even as big as a donut, would what? have a, yeah, would have a. Uh, Dariush, let me ask you, okay, a billion dollars, a billion American dollars is sitting one billion on each of four pieces on a sculptor? On a sculpture? You heard it right. That's exactly the point. So the and question is, Darius, the question that begs the question, what does a billion dollars weigh? I know I can Google it right now, but perhaps you know, what does that weigh? A billion dollars in cash cash? Yeah, in cash cash. That's what makes this thing so extraordinary, but uh, it did, it, it has, in, in the art scene at least, it has created a hype and a lot of people are asking what this whole thing is about and if it if the money is real where where does the money come and all those other questions that are usually linked to a to a uh, phenomenal thing like this and yes it is true on each side of these four uh, uh seesaws which as a whole are presenting only one uh conceptual artwork sits one billion US dollars and on the other side for different elements very small and each one of those elements are heavier both in value and in value as, as a character and also uh, 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 fin uh, financially speaking it would be uh, more worth than the billion dollars on the other side. That's but quite no a concept one, there, that the item nobody, is... is yeah, oh, and nobody... Yeah. You're saying nobody, nobody knows what these elements are yet. Knows. That's the only reason I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Tony D'Urso Show. Just ahead, the chat continues with Darius Shokov, $4 billion sculpture. But first, it's time for us to take a short break. See you back here in just a moment. This is the Voice America Influencers Channel. Be inspired. Do you remember when you started your small business? It was no small feat. It took a lot of late nights, early mornings, and the occasional all-nighter. Bottom line, you've been insanely busy ever since. So why not make things a little easier? Well, our friends at FreshBooks have the solution. FreshBooks invoicing and accounting software is designed specifically for small business owners. It's simple, intuitive, and keeps you way more organized than a dusty shoebox filled with crumpled receipts. Create and send professional-looking invoices in 30 seconds 
and then get them paid two times faster with automated online payments. File expenses even quicker and keep them perfectly organized for tax time. And the best part? FreshBooks grows alongside your business, so you'll always have the tools you need when you need them, without ever having to learn the ins and outs of accounting. Join the 24 million people who've used FreshBooks. Try it free for 30 days, no catch, and no credit card required. Go to FreshBooks.com slash Tony and enter Tony, D-U-R-S-O, in the How Did You Hear About Us section to get started. That's freshbooks.com slash Tony and enter Tony, D-U-R-S-O. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to the Tony D'Urso Show with key influencers. We'd love to hear from you via email. Be sure to send questions and comments to Tony at TonyD'Urso.com. Now, back to Tony and his guests. All right, we're back on the Tony D'Urso Show. Today's show is with Darius Shokoff, $4 billion sculpture. Darius's artistic career spans over 35 years. His work with Balance Concepts began both as a series of paintings and sculptures. He's auctioning the $4 billion sculpture with plans to donate proceeds to help starving children and political prisoners. All right. And now back to the chat with Darius. You don't know the stories that I had to live with. It's, it's now the fourth. Actually, the number four is something that, that it really is amazing. I, I was born on the fourth of the month and month, the month that I was born born in was the fourth of the month at four o'clock in the afternoon and the the, the the hospital that my mother had to go to to give birth to my uh, presence brought me into this world was also called the fourth of june well i was i'm born on, on 25th of june but uh, in iran it's it, anyway it's all four and now this thing came came about and yes four elements four billion dollars and and is, is the four for four billion is because of these, the numbers. Oh yes, is this a numerology type of thing that four is no, like no, your no, lucky number? No, no, not really. It just happened. I was just explaining. I, I don't really know why the, what this thing happened, but it, it number four played a, a tremendous role in my life, as always did, and as always done. And now this thing came about, and. Uh, as I was saying, uh, even though we don't know what the other four elements are on the other side of the uh, of the uh, seesaws, this this is this is probably the most important part about this uh, artwork is that it leaves no uh, it leaves no uh, uh, time to speculate. It, it it leaves nothing to speculation. Uh, it is it says I am four billion dollars worth. It, it leaves uh, no doubt in no one's mind that my name is, I mean, as an artwork, I am a painting by Picasso or I'm a painting by Leonardo or Tiziano or whoever, and some rich king or some rich collector buys me for $200 million. I am worth $4 billion because there is $4 billion cash on those platforms and if you want to have me on that auction you have to start with four billion dollars no speculations no politics involved no behind the curtains deals this is what it is for the first time a piece of artwork speaks for itself you and i know if you have a painting by uh, uh by uh, I, don't, I don't i don't know let's say picasso or or, uh, uh, or a sculpture by giacometti and you walk on the streets of anywhere in the world even new york city you have one of those things and you walk around uh, try to get a piece of donut from anyone uh, if they're not from the art scene they won't they won't give you a dollar but the same thing in a certain in a certain scene, certain organization, uh, certain institutes in the world would draw over uh, God knows how much two hundred million dollars. But this is the the first and maybe the, perhaps the only work of art that uh, has that value. And he says, "I deserve it," because uh, as you can see, there's all that cash on it. You got to start with four. And speculation is that we might have it sold. Because of many, many issues involved, it might even go up to eight billion U.S. dollars on that day of the auction in New York City. 
I'm we will absolutely see. impressed. This is, of course, got to be the most expensive, the most valuable art piece sculpture in the world. Let's talk. Let's talk more about this. You said there's going to be an auction. Okay, where's the auction, please? Right at the, at the moment that we, uh, the two of us, are talking, the auction is planned to be at the uh, at the prestigious uh, one of my one of my own most favorite buildings in New York City called American Stock Exchange Building in New York City, and uh, that would be in October, November. I cannot give the exact date right now, but it would be uh, published uh, within. Uh, within two months from from this date, as we speak, it would be out publicly in April. So everyone would know when when the day of the auction would be. That's amazing. You're going to do this at one of the most prestigious buildings and institutions in the world. You're going to do this at the honored. New York Stock Exchange itself. I am. I am honored. Yes, I am honored. I love the people. I love the. Uh, management who is putting this together, uh, Solomon uh, Langer is my associate, wonderful person, just a blessing. That by, I, why do I deserve all of this? I don't know it, but I hope I'm good enough to just give it all as much as I could back to the society for the reasons that I'm doing this whole thing, and and I hope that I live to see it. Amazing. And I have so many questions still about this. Now, at the auction, you're going to have, of course, a charity dinner where people are going to come. And then is it at that charity dinner that it's going to be a silent auction? Or can you describe the process a little more? Of course, Tony, we'll, we'll start the auction. Was the hammer starts around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I can't give out the name of the person who's going to do it. One of the stars uh, of the art scene. And uh, I let that uh, to be promulgated, I guess, uh, publicized in within 20, 25 days. But yes, it will start about 12 to 1 o'clock and then it, it will end around 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. The auction is gone. The auction is complete, over. Then we'll have a break and then at, at night we'll have maximum, not more than 600 guests who would... Uh, be picked out from a long list of people for a dinner, char- charity dinner with 25,000 minimum for each plate and or, more, or, or it could be more, but it cannot be less. And uh, from the money that we would receive from the charity alone, I would dedicate almost after the costs uh, deducted about 85% of it to the uh, kids uh, in New York City. Uh, to uh, making uh, the streets and sidewalks and, and the city as clean as we can. So it will go there for the whatever we could do to to hope, uh, I mean, to just at least for that one day to do for the homeless uh, in, in the city. And this is what I, that, that's my promise to the to the most wonderful, wonderful city on earth. New York, where I just grew up in, and I think that's the least I could do for that city. And uh, also for the veterans. So that that money would be uh, uh, divided into different categories, different foundations as well, but most specifically and importantly are the, the ones that I just mentioned. That is absolutely impressive. You know, I've run several events locally in my town personally for the homeless and to feed them and take care of them. So I totally understand. I sympathize completely with that. And what a noble cause. I absolutely love it. That kind of money that you mentioned can go a very, very long way to helping clean up the streets and helping the homeless. Hats off to you on that. I bow on that. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Tony. I guess this is really, uh, in my, in my opinion, this is what, what makes, uh, an artwork important at all, and if at all makes a human being an artist or makes an artist a human being. I love it. Uh, In terms of the charity dinner and who's there, you say you're going to have 600 guests you're going to pick. Are there any particular guests that you can mention now, or is that all to be released uh, later on when you make the public To be released later on, but I could tell you that it would be uh, from amongst uh, politicians, some artists, some of the elite people who do support arts and cultures and 
venues as such in the industry and uh, also some uh, some of the figures in the uh, global internet and uh, digital world and uh, uh, some specific uh, scene that has to do also with entertainment. I like that. I like that a lot. You're going to, it's going to be a, the cliche, a star studded event. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, but it really has nothing to do, not, not, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be the star or that. It, it, these people need to be uh, definitely supporters of such events. Uh, that, I don't know how else I could explain it. It doesn't necessarily have to be the billionaire that, that just has lots of mansions and lots of uh, ships and these and that, or uh, the arms dealer who's got a whole lot of, it's got to be a person who does have an affinity and does support such uh, events. Uh, you know, their, their logo that for the Art 4 Plus is, is just one sentence, for the wellness of planet Earth and all those who live in it. So if you are thinking about the same line of uh, acting or if you have the same mentality you're most welcome to be there amazing this is the tony dierso show just ahead the chat continues with darius shokov four billion dollar sculpture but first it's time for us to take a short break see you back here in just a moment change starts here change starts now join us the Voice America Influencers Channel. I've helped a lot of people in the past with a variety of life and business issues. I understand how you feel. That's why I believe BetterHelp Online Counseling can give you the assistance you want. BetterHelp offers licensed professional counselors who are specialized in issues such as depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, trauma, anger, family conflicts, dot, dot, dot. You get the picture. Connect with your professional counselor in a safe and private online environment. Everything you share is confidential and it's so convenient. Get help at your own time and at your own pace. You can schedule secure videos, phone sessions, plus chat and text. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option and for the Tony D'Urso Show listeners, get 10% off your first month with the discount code TONY. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com slash Tony. Start by simply filling out a questionnaire to help assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love. Betterhelp.com slash Tony. Give it a try and get some better help, won't you? That's betterhelp.com slash Tony for 10% off your first month. Hear the stories. Be motivated. Be inspired. Join us today. Voice America Influencers. You're listening to The Tony D'Urso Show with key influencers. We'd love to hear from you via email. Be sure to send questions and comments to Tony at TonyD'Urso.com. Now, back to Tony and his guests. All right, we're back on the Tony D'Urso Show. Today's show is with Darius Shokoff, $4 billion sculpture. Darius says, I want to dedicate as much of this money as possible to the wellness of Earth and all who live in it, he humbly explained. Quote, this is what I came to Earth to do, and I'm blessed to be able to do this through the arts. From the day of the Art 4 Plus auction onwards, the world will look at artists and what they can do for creation, life, and Earth in a different way. End quote. And now back to the chat with Dariush. And one last thing on the charity dinner before I move into a couple of other questions on this art. Are there going to be any artists that perform there that you can announce? Or again, that's going to be... Oh, oh yes. Yes, one major, one, one huge, one, one of the most wonderful artists. But I'm not, uh, I, I'm, I, I can't mention the name right now. Yes, there would be a superstar who has... Uh, who has uh, uh, already honored us to be there and and uh, perform that night. I she would be good. Uh, it. so, now you have it. Well, thank you She's for the this. Woman. She's a woman. <laughs> I, I I got that. Thank you. Thank you for releasing that. Now mm -hmm. on this, the sculpture itself is worth is worth intrinsically at least four billion because of four billion dollars cash on each Celebrate. of the four seesaws, and you believe that the final amount 
can be as much as eight billion. So now that yeah. begs the question: You've got eight billion dollars now, Dariush. What are you going to do with that? Well, first of all, I got only four because the four sits there. That that the other four sits there and would go to whoever it is that buys it at the end of the day, and and uh, we hope that it would be a city more than uh, an individual. Conditions are set forth in a way. If let's say, if Paris, uh, which is my second favorite city on earth, uh, and they were the first people who wanted to have it, if Paris takes it in and they have it in Paris, then uh, then they will have tickets sold and all of that. But what I do with the four billion, I again uh, would uh, uh, contribute uh, at least up to about eighty five percent to the same cause causes that I just mentioned to you, uh, but most uh, most uh, importantly, it will go for uh, making sure what we can do with, with that money. I don't know how I mean, we could we could uh, have endless money for the causes that, that I'm about to mention and would still need more to do good. We need to have clean, cleaner uh, cities, cleaner, uh, cleaner situations for everyone to live in. I, I think we need to have the most essential uh, elements that uh, that is connected to a healthy life for everyone, water, air, whatever. Uh, I don't have to speak about cliches that we all know now, oceans, cleaning this, cleaning that, and all of that. But I will give as much as I could. Firstly, again, for unfortunate ch- children on, on, on the face of this planet, they come from war-torn uh, countries. We'll do whatever we could do for them. We'll do whatever we could do uh, for, uh, again, cleaning the mess all around the cities we have as much as we can. One of the most important issues that always touches my heart, and now maybe I could do something about it, is the issue of political prisoners all over the world. And that is something that really hurts all of us, many of us, day and night, and most specifically in my own country where I was born, in Iran, where we have, unfortunately, Unfortunately, one of the worst situations for the political prisoners ever, and I like to have uh, uh, some money dedicated to to the lawyers worldwide that could get these people out of uh, out of the prison, or maybe we would be lucky enough to to have this whole regime overthrown before anything can happen, and then we don't even have to have one uh, uh, political prisoner. It's just one of the most uh, terrible things that uh, that a person can go through, and it's it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, stay with one country. We know how many countries around the world are, are the, I mean, the governments around the world are exercising such horrendous uh, activities against their own uh, people. Uh, I, I'd love to see that happen. I'd love to see that uh, that. Uh, I, I, I stress the fact again always about the children because uh, again a cliche but it is just the way it is there are so many of them that, that truly as we speak right now are going through terrible terrible situations because of the wars we have all over the world and most specifically in the Middle East so I like to, to help as much as I could uh, uh, to bring about a healthier healthier more humane uh, uh, atmospheres for these uh, wonderful kids uh, to be able to uh, uh, to be able to do their best. Worthy causes indeed. And I understand you're nominated as the independent presidential candidate for Free Iran. Is that so? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, I formed a uh, movement uh, uh, that is called Durud. Uh, Iranians uh, are not, uh, or they were not, they were not uh, of uh, Arabic uh, descent. And ever since Islam took over Iran uh, for around 1,400 years ago, Salam, uh, which I love, it is a wonderful, I love Arabic uh, uh, culture, I love uh, everything about them, but I don't want anyone from anywhere in the world to uh, forcefully uh, uh, exert regulations and laws upon an, either myself or my, my, my people or my country and I think that that is just something uh, normal for everyone, every freedom loving person on the face of this planet and ever since Islam took over Iran, every 
uh, Iranian uh, had to say salam instead of saying durud. Durud is the word that we have in Persian language, in Iranian, old Iran. Well, you know, Iran is uh, uh, arguably the uh, oldest civilization on planet Earth. So Iranians have been there 3,000 years, 4,000 years before Islam ever came about. They had Zoroastrian, they had uh, their own, their own uh, religion, very peaceful religion. And uh, anyway, I'll make it short. So Durud is the name of this movement, Durud movement. And I created it as an independent candidacy for presidential candidacy for Iran, for free Iran, uh, which was again something I think it was very, very important to uh, to start a movement as such because in the last four years, uh, the whole nation, the whole population of Iran and the whole world that was connected to it were all on the, the impression that it has to be only this person, only that person, or the other person. They were all well-known, linked to either communism or socialism or capitalism or this and that. And at the end of the day, not necessarily to to the well-being of Iranians, for Iranian people. For a, uh, for a free-minded Iranian person who loves to be free and who loves freedom and uh, who loves arts and culture and who loves everything that is beautiful on this planet, just like everyone else. So the nomination came about. I'm proud of it. In actuality, uh, uh, there would be the, uh, on Instagram tomorrow an interview that I have with the, with the folks in, in, in Iran uh, you know, it's a young country, about 70% of the country is under 30 years of age, so it would be a lot of youth uh, of the nation that we would have uh, on that interview tomorrow. They could relate and uh, and talk with me as well. Uh, I'm, I'm very emotional about it. I'm very happy and I'm very, very uh, excited about it to, to, to announce this uh, candidacy as well officially tomorrow on Instagram. I will in, invite you and everyone else who's listening to this. If there is a chance, if they know how to get connected, just get connected tomorrow on the Dario Shokov. Uh, uh, but they have there's a, there's a specific channel that is doing this. I don't have it right now in mind in my mind, but uh, I could send it to you and uh, and the people on Instagram they could uh, they could support. Dari Rush, by the time people hear this, that event will have already occurred. <laughs> will that's okay. I forgot. That's okay. Right. Let's announce your website here. Let me let me go over a couple things. First of all, Dari yes, Shokov, your website, and I'm going to spell it D D is in David D A R Y U S H. That's Dari Rush. Last name Shokov S H O K O F dot com. Dari Rush Shokov dot com. Now, if we go there, and that'll be in the show notes too somewhere, if we go there, will we be able to see your Instagram connection there on your website? No, no, unfortunately not, because it is something that happened, you know, things are happening so quick all over the world, and specifically also in Iran, you see what's happening in Venezuela. This just came in about two weeks ago, and they approached me if I would... uh, do this and uh, I was honored and with pleasure I said absolutely immediately let's do it so no it is not on the website but uh, it's uh, it's nice that you mentioned it and, and I do appreciate uh, everyone's support that you just mentioned it as well uh, you have it but it is not on the website it would be distributed I'm not super clear on Instagram but I presume there's a way to go to Instagram search your name and we'll see your profile and and what you have to say about this beautifully said yes dire shook off on instagram okay this is the tony dierso show just ahead the chat continues with darius shokoff four billion dollar sculpture but first it's time for us to take a short break see you back here in just a moment We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. Hey, check out my other great interviews at TonyDURSO.com or using your Android or iPhone, get the app at TonyDURSO.com slash mobile. 
That's Tony, D-U-R-S-O dot com or slash mobile for the app. Thanks. Hey guys, how would you like to be a best-selling author or sell a product or service in high volume? These are just some examples of what you can do with ClickFunnels. Get everything you need to market, sell, and deliver your products and services online without having to rely on a tech team. And I just got you a free account. Check it out at TonyDURSO.com slash click. Try it completely free and build your first funnel. You get a simple drag and drop web page editor. You can quickly build sales funnels that convert. There's a smart shopping cart with one click upsells. There's email and Facebook marketing automation. In fact, you get everything organized in one simple dashboard. Try it completely for free at TonyDURSO.com slash click. TonyDURSO.com slash C-L-I-C-K. And here's to your amazing success. This is the Voice America Influencers Channel. Be inspired. You're listening to the Tony D'Urso Show with key influencers. We'd love to hear from you via email. Be sure to send questions and comments to Tony at TonyD'Urso.com. Now, back to Tony and his guests. All right, we're back on the Tony D'Urso Show. Today's show is with Darius Shokoff, $4 billion sculpture. A quick recap so far. Darius presents a new conceptual artwork with four huge seesaws made of heavy metal with literally $4 billion in cash on each side of the seesaw. A mystery object is placed on each seesaw on the other side, which he claims is more valuable and heavier than all of the cash. And now back to the chat with Darius. Now, going back to your auction, we have several announcements, several things happening. This is a very interesting interview where we're talking about things to come that are very important world changing do you know when you may run for president uh, is there a schedule or is there a plan or can you yeah, tell us more actually yes best way to explain it it is very similar to what is happening right now in venezuela Guaido just came in and said no here here it is but i don't have that uh, possibility i don't have the uh, unfortunately i'm not in iran and i cannot we've done this as, as an Iranian out of the country, expatriate. And, and uh, now I have the support of uh, wonderful uh, fellow country people uh, that they are now putting this on the map. And because of the a very uh, important thing that happened about a week ago uh, in a show on a TV, on a very, perhaps the most popular Iranian uh, television uh, channel out of Iran. You know, Iran only has one television channel, like all dictatorship uh, countries, uh, North Korea, or whatever, what have you. But this this channel is in London, based in London. It's called Manoto Channel. And on that channel, uh, they had a, a wonderful piece uh, uh, generating uh, 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 wonderful uh, discussions by professionals who were giving uh, professional uh, and and uh, completely based on neutrality, uh, great to the performances uh, of Iranian regime during the last 40 years in different fields from politics to uh, economy and to culture and the human rights and all of that. And from 1 to 20, the regime uh, in Iran did not even get one. It's like less than one. And that voting system was perceived uh, by over half a million people who voted uh, legally. And uh, that means uh, with the terrible situation that we have in Iran that nobody can actually vote. I mean, they they have to go through terrible situations in order to be able to even to even vote or get connected to the Internet worldwide and all of that. But anyway, they did it and they came up. This is what we came up, came up with, which in turn, officially was an announcement that this regime is illegal. And from that point on, I was an issue. uh, The people who were supporting me for the last uh, four or five months 
became more serious about this and uh, said, okay, the Irish, now it's the time because legally, and I, I personally wrote letters to President Trump and uh, some of the other associates uh, that, look, this is now the timing. Uh, Pahlavi, the son of the king, is still, according to the laws and regulations of that country, is still a legal, lawful king. And he could return, and I would be more than happy to work with him as a president uh, of the country. And let's announce this. Let's, let's put this on the ban. Let's just do this. Let's put it on the map. Let's start. And then uh, through that came this other interview possibility for tomorrow. They just put it together in about four days and so. They'll, they let me know about the possibilities uh, that they had, that we could now get this going tomorrow and and uh, uh, get a uh, really tremendous uh, cover also from inside the country. So we see how it goes, and I would be more than delighted to share everything with you and everybody else uh, around the world. Very interesting indeed. And there are other good candidates out there for a president for Iran. May I ask you humbly, what makes you a very good candidate and a good leader for Iran? Why, why you? Absolutely great, great question. From what others predict or estimate or uh, believe is the record of what, what I have done and went through for the last, let's say, 35 years. I made a movie called Iran Zendan, Iran the Prison. This movie was, in, in by itself, it was almost revolutionary because no one in the last four years ever, ever, dared to to make a film about what horrendous situations the political prisoners are going through in Iran. The film hit the YouTube in two or three days, went over 12 million clicks, and then immediately was off the tube in the fourth or fifth day. It was a bizarre situation, but it was almost already too late. And ever since that thing happened, my name had a different meaning and it was not just the artist it was just someone who would go through uh anything and every any any means by by doing whatever he can for for his people and uh with no regards or no uh, attention to what i could lose by doing this all the monies i could lose all the uh all the uh, contracts i would lose all all the the blockades that i would have being automatically and uh, immediately on on a world blacklist because of uh, because of the power of this government in Iran and unfortunately opportunistically speaking because every country on on earth worked with them but i went through it and it's not important right now to say what i had to go through by having done that but it did bring attention to the people in Iran that there are people out there that that are really caring about us, that do care about us. And one of them is this guy, this Dario Shokov. Past that situation, I, I am a director, I'm a film director. I have done really a number of films that, you know how films are made, it is extremely difficult to make a movie even when you have everything figured out, everything is there, productions are there, distributions are there, you got the stars, you got the money on the table, now go make it. Now, imagine that you don't have any of that. You don't have any funding available. You are on a blacklist. And you, you, you do 17 films, feature films, and they're not really all, all that bad. I mean, they're not the worst that you have ever seen. Each one of them has been done because of a reason. It's not just to sell tickets. There are 17 films. There's nothing to be ashamed of. What I'm trying to say is, they, they saw what I, what I did, what I had uh, as an asset in, in my hands and how I, how I produced, how I used it with, with each film. If, uh, if someone has nothing else, nothing better to do to just sit and watch one of the films, they'll understand that this guy did something because he had a reason to do it, not because uh, it, it's a movie about... Uh, Jake fall in, falls in love with Holly and Holly is already in love with Mike. None of that. The films are extremely, each one different than the other one and original in turn in, the, in their own 
stories, whatever it is that they're uh, trying to say. So that was another important factor that this guy is a doer. I mean, when he says he does something, he does it. Number three is right now, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, indirectly speaking and uh, in officially speaking, I'm a billionaire. I'm sitting in front of you um, with all due respect and, and I'm honored that you have me on your show. Uh, I don't owe any Iranians. I don't owe anybody anything. And I could just, you know, I could just go out and have a whole lot of fun, which, which doesn't mean that I don't have it right now. I have a lot of fun. I have the greatest life that I could ever, could have ever imagined uh, I could have. But for me, what's really important is what I have set forth to do, to really bring freedom to a country and a nation that deserves it. That deserves it. I mean, these are brilliant people. They, they've shown to the whole world that they are worthy of being connected to the to the best in the world, and they have uh, shown even on the terrible situations that they have right now how amazing they could adapt and how wonderfully they could adjust and they could help making this planet a better place. I would gladly do and give everything. For such a uh, for such a uh, 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 successful ending, if that's the last thing that I could ever do in my life, um, I did a I had a great life. That's all there was to it. So all of these things, you know, they know this guy doesn't need the money. He's not a socialist. He's not a capitalist. He's not. But even though I am, I love capitalism. I love America, my country, my life, the oddity of it is. Iran, I can never go back to it, and the USA, and and uh, you know I, I say it openly, and, and right now nobody dares because of the regime and whatever they have been working on, brainwashing people. You you cannot find one person that says I love America. Can you believe that? <laughs> you wake up in the morning and say death to America, death to Israel, and now there comes a guy who says if I am elected, I I would. Love for you guys to say love to America, love to most specifically these two nations, these two countries. Love to America, love to Israel. Just look around, see what these two countries have done for the world and specifically could, specifically could do for you. And I think honesty is, plays really an important role. Why should they want, why, why would, why should they want me? What other thing do I have? Dairish, hallmark of a great leader is passion. And you have such passion to help your people and such a desire, so motivated. You have everything to lose. And your only desire, as I understand, is to just really help the people. Yes, you could just go off and enjoy yourself for the rest of your life. But I believe that would leave you totally unfulfilled as the artist that you are. And I totally love that passion and that drive. That's what makes a good leader and I truly hope that things work out really well and work out the best for you because this is what the world needs. The world needs people who are passionate about doing things right and setting things straight. So really hope that you can live up to that and hope that it all works out for you and that we can say this. This would be a very good thing. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. I, I, uh, this, this was already uh, the Oscars that I would have ever wanted to have, which I don't like to, I would never want to, but you gave me, you gave me just like the wonderful friend, not wonderful Iranians who are just flooding me with these wonderful uh, support. Thank you so much. I, I'm just there to serve. My pleasure. And we have just one more minute. So I just want to ask you one more important question, regardless of the presidential candidacy nomination and how that plays out. Are you going to continue in art and films? And if so, what does the future hold for you on that? Yes, of course. Uh, I, I call it sometimes my sickness. This is my say. I, I came to, to, to this world, I guess my mission was to make films and the arts. That's all, that's all there's to it. I will, I will do that. And whatever happens to Iran, I just, that was my wish, what I just uh, explained. Yes, the, the first film that uh, I will have right after this uh, uh, auction is finished is Got Hatton, which I, we will start perhaps latest by 2020. And uh, other works of art, I have 
13, I mean, we have 10 commandments, every, everyone knows it, but I have created the 13 commandments, uh, 13 huge stones with 13 words on it, that no one again knows what these words are. <laughs> I'm getting to like this about you. You're going to create some art and nobody knows about it, but stay nobody tuned. I really like that. <laughs> and choco flowers. That's something new. And they are, they are also very unique. So these are the, the, these are the, uh, the concepts that I have right now in front of me. And I would love to share it with you when I get to L.A. I, I miss being there. So the minute I get there, I think we'll get together, have a wonderful glass of water or whatever it is, and we'll go through this again. Thank you. And we are going to do this again because I want to update our audience on developments as they unfold. You've got so many things happening. We're definitely going to do some more interviews. And once again, this is Dari Rush Shokov, world-renowned artist, sculptor, and independent presidential candidate for Free Iran. And you can find him at darirushshokov.com. I'm going to spell that again, D-A-R-Y-U-S-H-S-H-O-K-O-F dot com. God bless you, and God bless the U.S. Terry Rush, thank you so much. Thank you for the honor of having this great interview. I can't wait to find out more as things unfold. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tony. Have a great day, you guys. And for my amazing audience, thanks so much for listening. Remember, success awaits those who persevere and remain steadfast despite the odds. Be righteous. Join me on the next episode of The Tony D'Urso Show. We hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of The Tony D'Urso Show with his key influencers. Be sure to tune in again next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel.